Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife Kara is at work and today we are talking about what is the absolute best edge you can put on your knife. Now this obviously is my opinion and some of these the information in this video is going to be facts and some is going to be based on my opinion. Now I am going to give a direct answer towards the end but there's a lot of information in between and after that hopefully you you watch through and um, and listen to because I think this is a very very important video now first off I just want to say that different steels do better at different grits I did do a video on this talking about what steel does best with what grit if you want to go check that out now what is a toothy edge a toothy edge is between three and 600 grit you can see the heavy grit pattern this is about this is a 300 grit edge 600 grit edge this is the real steel metamorph this is the spyroco shaman now a mid-range edge would be between 800 and 1200 grit kind of a cloudier finish This is the Strider SMG. And this is the Spyderco Gale Bradley. Now, now a fine edge is between 12 and 2,000 grit. So between 1,200 grit and 2,000 grit. Pad in front so you guys can see. There we go. This is leaning more towards the 2000 grit. And then we already looked at a 1200. This is kind of uh, about a 1200. It's more cloudy. And then going towards the 2000 is like basically a, a polish to a semi-polished depending on the steel now there is a um a mid-range you know between mirror because a mirror to me is between 2000 and 3000 and above now the mid-range between that would be between 1500 and 2000 grit now now there is different styles of edges like convex edges where it just goes basically from the bevel to the tip. It rounds to the edge so there's not a straight drop. This is a V grind and this is a convex. And then there's also a chisel grind. We're not going to talk about chisel grinds because there's not a lot of pocket knives are done in chisel grinds. There's also micro bevels. I did just recently do a video on micro bevels. Um, we're not really going to talk about that in my opinion. I don't really like them. I would just lower my angle or do a convex edge if I wanted to add more strength, which is what a micro bevel does. Now we need to talk about behind the edge thickness. So some edges are going to be very thin behind the edge and some edges are going to be more thick. So Depending on the thickness and depending on what you're doing, you might want a different angle or a better, a different angle might suit you better, you know, on, you know, your edge angle. And let's talk about that. So I believe there are five angles that go good on a pocket knife. So you have 25 degrees, 22 degrees, 20 degrees, 17 degrees, and 15 degrees. Now, the difference between that would be like, like say this. Say if this was a 25 degree angle, this would be a 20 degree angle. You can see it's a little more um, acute. And then this would be like a 17 degree angle. It's more longer. So a 25 would be more shallow. You know, difference between 25 and a 17 degree angle. Now, this is where it starts getting a little tricky. Now, a 25 degree angle is not going to have as much bite 
or isn't going to pass through materials is as good as say a 15 degree angle so a 15 degree angle is going to cut through materials better and have more bite but a 25 degree angle is going to be stronger than a 15 degree angle also the finish you put on a certain angle is going to matter too so say a a low angle like a 25 degree angle is with a mirror polish isn't going to cut as good as say a um if it was a higher or a lower angle so you can get away with certain finishes on different angles better so like say if you have a 17 degree angle and you put a, uh, a mirror finish on there, your edge or, you know, a semi-mirror finish, you know, semi-polished finish, you can still have some bite on your edge. Now, if you put the same finish on a 25 degree angle, you're most likely going to lose all the bite out of the edge. All of these little details matter. Now, a high grit... So, like, say, a semi-polish to a mirror polish is going to last longer than a low grit. But a low grit will cut better. So, a low grit will have more bite to the edge and will cut most, you know, everyday carry things or, you know, more things that you cut day to day better than a high grit. But a high grit will take more cuts before it shows damage. And the reason why is because if this is a low grit the teeth are very big a high grit the teeth are smaller a low grit tends to, the teeth since they're bigger they tend to chip off easier a low or a, a high grit since they're smaller they tend to not chip off as easily now i just want to say there's like a balancing beam here right so i personally love low grits they cut so good you know but I also know that they're, they take a little more effort to maintain. They're not going to stay. They're going to chip a little bit easier uh, and they're going to wear a little faster. So, you know, to, you're basically taking away a little bit of the sharpness and adding a little strength to it by bringing it to a little bit of a higher grit. Now, you don't want to go too high because now you're taking away the sharpness and, um, you know, possibly making it more fragile. So, you know, there is that balancing beam you want to find. So what do I think is the best all-around edge you can put on a knife? Now, after I say this, I'm going to have a lot of explaining to do. So, in my opinion, a 17-degree angle is the best angle you can put on a knife. 1,500 to 2,500 grit. Also... <laughs> A 20 degree angle is great at four to 800 grit. Now a 17 degree angle, since the angle is finer, you can get away with a higher grit. So say this being a mirror edge, if it will focus, a uh, mirror edge, I can get away with having a, you know, a, um, a more laid back edge at 17 degrees. Now, at 20 degrees, a 20 degree angle, you're probably going to want it between four and 800 grit because if you go to a high grit, it's not going to have much bite. But it will, and why would you want um, one or the other? Well, if you're a little harder on your edge, you're probably going to want a 20 degree angle. If you're not that hard on your edge, but you do lots of slicing, then you're probably going to want it to be um, a little more sharper. Or should I say, you probably want it to go through materials a little easier. So you might want a 17 degree angle. Now, at a low grit, you're going to have to strop and hone more often. At, in, at, a, at a high grit, at 17 degrees, you're not going to have to hone or strop as often. 
but it's not going to be as strong. Now, you're going to want to hone and strop, you know, accordingly. Now, you might think, why not go to 10,000 grit, right? Well, you know, if I'm already at 70 degrees, why not just go to 10,000 grit? Well, because it takes a lot more effort. Now, if you're talking about a knife you don't use, you know, like, like a like a TTC, a tabletop carry, <laughs> that may be, you know, something you're not going to use, then yeah, go for it. But we're talking about EDC knives, knives that you carry and use. And the time it takes to put the 10,000 grit edge on there, it's going to be beautiful, but it's, you're going to use it once or twice and that mirror is going to go away for one. And Two, you're, you're putting a lot of effort into the mirror that you're just going to scratch up and you're going to not get, you're not going to get the performance difference. So the difference between say a 3000 grit and a 10,000 grit isn't going to be any different. The 3000 grit is going to give you the same performance as a 10,000 grit. The only difference is, is one's going to be an absolute mirror and the other one you know, will be very close to an absolute mirror. And in some cases, the 10,000 grit might polish off the the bite that the edge has, you know, at a, at a lower grit. But it does take a lot more effort and it possibly could be even more fragile since it's so fine. And, it you know, it only takes a couple cuts before you're you know, that beautiful mirror edge, you know, doesn't look so good no more. Now, why wouldn't you want to go to 15 degrees? Why wouldn't you want to go from 17 degrees to go to 15 degrees? Well, in my opinion, that's a little too fragile. Now, in some cases, that might be great for you. But in most cases for EDC, if you don't know what you're going to be cutting, 15 degrees can make an edge a little too fragile at you know the very tip of the edge and you got chances of chipping and you know a lot more chances of chipping basically and rolling your edge now at 20 degrees why not put a higher grit you know um because then it's going to you're going to lose the teeth you know you want a bite and the thing is, is that when your edge is laid back finer, you can get more bite out of a higher grit. When you make a shallower angle, you're going to need the teeth from a lower grit. So you're going to want, this is the Civivi Elementum, and then this is the Civivi Elementum. One is in a 600 grit finish, and the other one is in a 5000 grit finish. This one's a mirror edge. Then this one is, uh, like I said, 600 grit. Now this one has a lot more bite than this one. Now another thing is that a high grit is going to lose its teeth faster. Meaning like when you start using it, the edge that had some bite might lose its bite. Now sometimes it, it does go the other way depending on what you're cutting. Sometimes you just get more bite after a few cuts, you know, it just, you know, reveals more grit. But depending on what you're cutting, you know, sometimes you do wind up making, you know, the edge winds up being slick and then, you know, you might need to strop it to bring back a little bit more bite on that edge. It depends. But a 17 degree angle f between 15 and 2500 grit i think is the best edge you can put on a pocket knife now i think also a 20 degree angle at 4 to 800 grit is also great if you're a little harder on your edge now i love low grits i love between 300 and 600 grit but i'm gonna have to maintain it more i'm going to have to hone i have no problem doing that though so I have no problem with going and honing my edge back because it's showing more damage than if I would have put it at a higher grit. So that, you know, that's why I say between 15 and 2500 grit at 17 degrees is the best because you're going to get more cuts out of it 
you know, your edge before you need to hone and strop and stuff like that. Now, a 20 degree angle is going to be stronger, but it's not going to cut as well. So you're going to want a little bit of a lower grid on there so that it, it, you pick up the performance in the bite of the edge since it's not laid back, since it's not very fine, since it doesn't cut as well. Now, a 20 degree angle cuts just fine. The performance difference between 20 degrees and 17 degrees can be a lot depending on what you're cutting, but it is kind of small. A lot of people might not be able to tell the difference, but then again, I don't know. Maybe you can. Um, I know I can. So now let's talk about a convex edge because convex edges, if I want a 17 degree angle and I want strength plus the cutting performance of the 17 degree angle, I can just do a convex. I don't have to go down to 20 degree angle for strength. I could just leave it at 17 degrees and do a convex edge. Now, um, that's what Mike Emler is known for doing is convex edges. And I also put a lot of convex edges on. I think some knives, a convex edge is what belongs on that, you know, that knife. Um, Mike Emler is a knife sharpener and he does beautiful edges and, um, and yeah, and that's what he's known for doing is, you know, his, uh, like, uh, kind of a Japanese style sharpening. The, oh, I'm sorry. This is the Ferrum Forge Gavco spinner. And the, this is the Ferrum Forge, um, Entech. But now, now a convex edge at 17 degrees versus a, um, a V grind it's there's a give and take there so like in my opinion it can slide through materials better than a v grind but a v grind is going to bite in the materials a little bit better like you know i think those differences are so small that it's very hard to tell but the one thing you definitely could tell is a convex is going to be a little bit stronger than a you know the v grind but the v grind is going to cut better blah 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 anyways so basically what i'm saying is that you don't have to sacrifice to a 20 degree angle if you don't want to. in some cases you might want a 20 degree angle with a convex edge you know depending on the strength and the things you're cutting and stuff like that but in my opinion 17 degrees between 1500 grit and 2500 grit and a 20 degree angle between 400 and 800 i think those are the the best edges to put on everyday carry knives that you're going to carry and use every day so that's my opinion on the best edges like i said i do like low grits but i have no problem maintaining them so it, it depends on your your capabilities and everything else and also what you're cutting so i tend to like a lot of bite in my edges now i can sacrifice the bite and go towards more of a finer edge that will last longer and sometimes i think that's the best edge to put on certain knives but certain knives i think don't do as good like the difference between this knife and this knife this five five thousand grit and this 600 grit this definitely cuts better than this um, but now this one is going to last longer. So I, I'm not going to have to maintain it as much as this one. So that's why I think right in the middle ground where you're going to still get the cutting performance and the longevity of the edge, you, you know, you kind of want that happy medium spot. And that's why I say between 1500 grit and 2500 grit. Now a 1200 grit isn't that much different than a 1500 grit. So Certain steels, a 1200 grit might be just fine and going up to 1500 grit might take away, take away a lot of that bite. So in some cases, it's going to be better to just use a lower grit. Um, but in most cases, <clears throat> you know, you could just say 1200 to, to 2000 grit, you know, and I know a thousand, like when you think like me saying 1500 grit to 2500 grit, that being a um you know a big difference a thousand grit but it's really not you know when you get that high in a grit the difference between a 1500 grit and a 2500 grit really isn't that much the um just like but like the difference between 
like a 300 grit and a 600 grit, it, it's, uh, you get, the higher you go, the lower the jump goes, if that makes sense. So just like the higher you go in stones, the more of a jump you can go in changing stones. So like, say if I'm going to sharpen a knife and I'm starting off, I'm going to want to do a 300, a 600, then maybe a 1200 grit edge. Or, you know, or stones. Now, once I get over that, I can jump from 1200 grit to 3000 grit, you know, because it's, it, it's not that big of a difference. If you understand what I'm saying, but on the lower grits, it is a big difference. So, but you know, you kind of stop losing sharpness after about 1200 grit and you're basically just polishing now, the reason why I'm saying 1500 grit after 1200 grit, when 1200 grit is basically about as sharp as you can get, 1500 grit is going to refine the edge just a little bit and make it just a little, a little bit stronger to wear. So your teeth are going to um, get a little bit finer and be less likely to chip off. And then going up to 2,500 grit to 3,000 grit is basically just going to give you a little bit more of a reflective edge. So you're going to go from a cloudy to a reflective edge. So, but, you know, going anything beyond that, you're just making the edge more mirror and it's not going to benefit you any, you know. In, in some cases, it might even start dropping or it will start dropping. You'll lose all the bite in the edge. It, all the teeth on the edge will be um, polished off and it's not going to be as strong. So, you know, like in some areas where you give, you're going to take in other areas and where other areas you're going to take, you're going to give in other areas. So, you know, it's kind of a balancing beam and to hit that, the right perfect spot, I personally think that 17 degrees between 1500 and 2500 is the best now some steels like i said you might want to say 1200 to 2000 grit so there you guys go also like i said there's not nothing wrong with a low grit a low grit edge is amazing i personally love a low grit edge but i also understand that it takes more effort to maintain a low grit so in order to get the strength out of the, the edge and make it last a little bit longer, you maybe want to move up just a little bit in the grit and you'll lose a little bit in the sharpness. So there you guys go. Love you guys. Peace.